this uh, video is just a brief review of how to solve simple equations. So equations that involve one step only. Um, the first few pages in your notes, like this one here, um, basically go through an explanation that you can just read through. So when you're solving a simple equation, the first question you need to ask yourself is, what do I need to be able to get rid of in order to have just the letter or the variable on its own? So in this first example, you need to get rid of adding 8. You get rid of adding 8 by subtracting 8. When you subtract 8 on the left side, you have to also subtract 8 on the right side in order to keep the equation balanced and to not change things. And that will result in an answer of 15. So the second example in your notes is exactly the same, except now you ask yourself, how do I get rid of the x? I need to get rid of subtracting 5. I get rid of subtracting 5 by adding 5 to both sides and so on and so forth. So if we just do this brief example down here at the bottom, to get rid of subtracting 6, I need to add 6 to both sides. And that will result in an answer of 24. So this here is just another way of showing your work. I find sometimes it's easier to show your work this way. You can choose. You just have to show your work somehow. Um, the one on the left, to get rid of adding 14, you need to subtract 14. If I subtract 14 on the left, I need to subtract 14 on the right. Now this one you need to be careful because you've got some negative signs. So you're going to end up with negative 39. So if you were challenged on that one, that's because you need to go over your integers again. Um, so the next example involves multiplying and dividing. So 4x, remember, means 4 times x. So how do you get rid of multiplying by 4? You divide by 4. So both sides, you end up dividing by 4. And in the next example in your notes, a bar, remember, a fraction means division. So how do you get rid of dividing by 3? You multiply both sides by 3. And so that's what this example here is showing. So let's go through just a couple of those. So example number 1, or letter A, how do you get rid of multiplying by negative 3? You would divide by negative 3. In this case, it's still negative because you just do the opposite operation and you'll end up with x equals negative 9. In letter B, this says x divided by 4. So you get rid of dividing by 4 by multiplying both sides by 4. And your answer is 44. Oops. And then the third one, you're dividing by negative 3. So you get rid of dividing by negative 3 by multiplying by negative 3. And again, in this case, your answer will become positive 24. And again, that's because of your integers. So it's always about doing the opposite operation. And make sure that you're showing your work. And there's a few ways that you can choose to show your work. But somehow, you have to show that what you're doing to the one side, you're also doing to the other side of the equation.